traders and investors to Benzinga's pre-market prep. I'm Spencer Israel. We are here with Ethan Joseph. He is the uh, Benzinga Pro aficionado here at Benzinga HQ. And we're going to walk through uh, one. The, probably the main feature of the new Benzinga Pro is is the newsfeed. We're going to walk through the functionalities, uh, the different ways you can use the newsfeed, the different ways you can take advantage of it if you're a trader, uh, and how you can best use the platform. So welcome, Ethan. Thanks for having me, Spencer. I, I like that term, aficionado. I yeah. haven't heard that one in a while. All right. So, so what we're looking at right now is is the main news feed. Uh, why don't you click out of that, and we'll, we'll start from the, the home page, and we'll show how to get to the news feed widget, and then we'll we'll go from there. So, no problem. No, just 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 just, just change the. Uh, just go back, go back into the news feed, and just just hit the X and get out of the widgets, and then yeah, there we go. Gotcha. So th this is our homepage right now. You click click on the news feed widget, and this takes us to our news feed. Now, explain what exactly you're, we're seeing right now. Sure. So uh, you kind of said it's our main feature on right. Benzinga Pro. Um, it's actually like ten different features kind of rolled into one because there's so many different ways that you can actually use the news feed. <coughs> So what you're looking at right here is kind of the default view. Uh, you can see up here there's these three drop downs. These are the options that you have to filter your news feed. Uh, you can filter it by channels, which is essentially just different categories of stories that we, uh, we post here at Benzinga Pro and Benzinga.com. Uh, you can filter it by source, and by default you're only viewing the Benzinga Pro source, which is all the stories and headlines put out by our own news desk in-house. And then you can also filter it by any watch lists that you've created. Uh, any stocks <coughs> or equities that you're following and you want to filter it by just those companies. So looking at the different pieces of information on the screen, you can see on the left hand side we have our timestamp, next to that we have our ticker and that's uh, there's a new feature regarding that as well. Yeah, so <coughs> the great thing about this is it, it shows you which the, what the main ticker tagged in the story is. Sometimes there's multiple ones. Uh, when you open it up you can see if there's anything else in there. But when you hover your uh, mouse over one of the tickers, what you get to see is the price that the security is trading at, the change since the open, as well as the change since the publication of the story. Uh, additionally, you can go ahead and click on the ticker, and what it'll do is it'll open up our security snapshot, uh, which basically includes some information on the company, a few charting options, recent stories, as well as recent corporate events and key statistics. So this is great for me if I'm like you know not looking to go to something like Yahoo Finance right. or another website to pull up some of that information. So going back to the newsfeed, explain the difference. Uh, I know some headlines are bold, some are not. What's the difference there? Yeah, absolutely. The bolded headlines are stories that have uh, expanding capabilities. So this, for instance, there's a lot more content and color here provided by our analysts that uh, if you click on it, you can expand. You can also go ahead and double click on it to uh, open up a separate window, which will allow you to read the story or minimize it and save it for later. Uh, plain text headlines are just that, they're headlines. You can see here this is an update. Uh, so everything that you need to know about that is already included in the text right there. And now we've, we've gone over the channels, we've gone over the types of information that you can have in there, but let's say you want uh, one half of your screen devoted to main news feed and then another half of your screen devoted to like the news feed for just one stock. How do I go about doing that? Absolutely. So uh, Benzinga Pro is a widget based workspace system which means that you can really customize it based on what you're looking for. Uh, you can see up here you have multiple tabs. These are the workspaces that you create and you can add as many as you want. Um, but in the one workspace you can add up to four different widgets. So by clicking on the edit workspace button over here you can add you know, another news feed or a watch list, a company profile page, or a calendar, depending on what you're looking to do. In this case, we're going to add another news feed because we want to do a split screen. Uh, now that we have the two news feeds open, I can go ahead and change this first one to, you know, only show me stocks in my, you know, test watch list there. And I can keep the other one fully functional here, or I can change it based on channel or source. Let's say I want to use it to browse some of the SEC filings. I might go ahead and do that over here as well. Uh, alternatively, I can change it by channel if I want to just look at something like analyst ratings. So it's really customizable in that sense. You can you can you can add another workspace uh, up here if you wanted to create a news feed, um, you know, about something else, and, and you want to flip back and forth like tabs in Google right. Chrome. Totally up to you. Yep. Okay. Now, if if I'm looking at all the different channels and all the different sources, it's a lot of different types of headlines. How would I be able to differentiate what's what? Is there like a like a colorization or anything that we can do to sort of like make sure earnings like stick out to me? Like if I know if I if, without even reading it, I'll know by looking at it. You know, it's it's an earnings report. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. Um, one of the best ways to do that would be to just customize it by going into this uh, newsfeed widget settings, and you can open that up by clicking on this gear right here. Uh, and what you have the option to do is actually 
apply a different filter color to any one of our sources or any one of the channels that you want to filter by. So uh, you said earnings, so we've got earnings and guidance here. I can go ahead and change that color to you know pink and add the theme in there. And now anytime an earnings story comes through the feed, it's going to end up in that color. That's awesome. That's a great way for you to know with all the different channels. That, you know, I think we have 21 different channels and and, and uh, uh, different sources. It's a great way for you to to know right off the bat, uh, be able to differentiate your earnings from your other types of sources. Uh, was there anything else you wanted to show, Ethan? I think we kind of covered the gamut in the newsfeed. Uh, if you do have any questions in the chat, feel free to uh, throw it along in there. But this yeah. this has been a great uh, informative segment. Thanks for coming on the show. No problem. I, I can show you one more thing yeah, before I get it, out of here. we got a, a one more minute. Um, the last thing I'll kind of show you is the channels. Obviously, there's a lot in here. Um, you know you, you know what you're looking for. These are very familiar to you. But down here, we have you know uh, something that's pretty pretty special to Benzinga Pro, and that's our Market Moving Exclusives channel. And this feed is, you know, completely original to Benzinga Pro. These are stories that, you know, we're breaking here uh, and we believe have, you know, the highest potential to move stocks and have been proven to move stocks in the past. So this is one of my favorite feeds to use. I know guys who are just, you know, looking at this filter alone and keep it minimized in a corner or something like that. Um, so that's a place that I've seen a lot of value. Other than that, you know, the SEC sources and the PR feeds have been something that are, are really special in here as well. Coming in real quick, um, keeping news feeds specifically for those or being able to search for keywords and symbols has been a huge advantage. And then tangentially related to that is the squawk, which you'll see in the button on the top right hand corner. Uh, you can pull that up and it's just another way to get the information a little bit faster. Ethan, uh, we'll get you on next week and we'll discuss, uh, there's a lot more regarding Ben Singer Pro besides the news feed, so we'll get you on to talk about that, but I, I think this has been a really informative segment, so thanks for coming on. No problem. And if I you're not if you're not using Pro already, go sign up for your 14 day trial. Give me a call, and uh, and we'll we'll get you set up with something good. And that's at pro.benzinga.com. Pro.benzinga.com. All right, free two week trial. You heard it there first, folks. Maybe we'll get a little bit more if you can uh, guess the top and Tyson. Maybe we'll give you a little more than that. We'll see. That was uh, thrown out there by Dennis earlier. Ethan Joseph, Benzinga Pro aficionado. Thank you so much for coming on, folks. We'll be right back with Joel to wrap the show up.